Welcome back. I'm glad you could join me today. Today we're going to do something that's quite a bit different. It's a lot of fun, and, and you're going to have a, a good time doing it with me. Thanks, Bob. I think I can take it from here. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we'll be creating today, or what it'll kind of look like. To get started, you'll need an account for Figma, which is a free tool for illustration. You can use it either on desktop or on the browser. In this case, I'm going to be using the desktop version, but it doesn't make a difference. On Figma, you'll create a new design file. Then, you'll create a new frame and set the dimensions to 1920 by 1080. Next, we're going to add our text to the frame change the fonts, resize everything, and align it up with snapping. Now that we have our text, we need to style it and reposition it. I'll add a yellow gradient to the Fortnite text and then drop shadow as an effect to make it stand out more. For the other text, I'll add a white to light gray gradient. Next, I'll get a Fortnite background from Google, copy it, and paste it in Figma. I'll move it so it becomes the last layer, then I'll add a layer blur under effects, then I'll change the frame fill color to a dark gray, and finally, I'll change the opacity for the image. Now, let's create the arrow. I'll create a polygon and then select the pen tool. With the pen tool, I'll create a curved shape that looks like it's coming from the polygon. Next, I'll select both the polygon and my custom curved shape and union the selection. Now, I'll style my custom arrow, resize, and reposition it. Now, let's create our badge. We will select the star shape and then create it. We will change the total points to 8 and change the ratio between each point. Now, I'll add a gradient to the badge to style it. Then, I'll add the free text and group everything together to create the badge. I'll resize, rotate, and then reposition it. I'll create a purple overlay in the bottom left corner of the image by using the pen tool, adding a layer blur, and then decreasing the opacity. I'll add a lens flare from Google and then change the color of it. If you're struggling to make a thumbnail, you can always find a template on YouTube or Google. That's everything for this video. Please keep in mind there is no right or wrong way to make a thumbnail. You'll need to learn the tool you're using for design or illustration. Just be creative and play around with things.